Welcome dear students to our technofund.kbs YouTube channel. Now today's topic is of for loop which is very very important in real in solving real world problems. Now what kind of problems it uh, can be solved by using this loop or first of all we need to understand that what is a loop. Uh, as you can see here on the screen if a student wants to print natural numbers up to 10 or to print his or her name 100 times or to print a maths table of a given number up to n. So you can see or in all these examples that what we are doing we are uh, every time we are executing a particular statement again and again. So that is why we are saying here that we are working on a loop or we are in a loop simply. If look at this example, if a student wants to print natural numbers up to 10, that means we have to print natural numbers from 1, 2, 3 up to 10 or it can be print, printed up to 100, it can be printed up to 1000, it can be printed up to 10,000 as per the need of our problem. So we are doing one thing, we are printing the natural numbers again and again. That means what we are doing, we are doing in a, we are executing in a loop. So loop is a very very important topic which is to be understand in the programming it is very very useful in solving many real world practical problems so let us now understand about this for loop okay what we have here the definition of a loop just we can look at this here a loop can be defined as a cycle of execution of various statements again and again up to a specific number of times let us take an example to comprehend the concept of loop example here. Again, the same example, let us think. We have to print the natural numbers up to 10. Now, how can we do this? Step number one, first take a variable named count and assign it a value one. Okay, because what we have to do here, we have to print natural numbers up to 10. So, we have to take something, some variable in Python and assign it a value 1 so that we can count that how much number of times we have already <clears throat> printed the value or how many values are to be printed now. So we are taking here a variable count for this purpose and we will assign it a value 1. Then firstly we will print that value count because the initial value of the count variable is 1 we will print the value 1. Okay. In the third step we will increase the value of the count by 1. So count becomes 2. Now, what will happen? Check the value of count whether it is less than or equal to 10 because the value of count becomes 2. Now, to print or to increase the value of count further, we have to check whether the upper limit or the number up to which we have to print the values, the value of count has been come or not. So, the value of count is less than or equal to 10 or not. We have to check first this. So if the value now uh, if the value is 2 we have to move further if it is less than or equal to 10 then execute the step b c and d again till the value of the count reaches 10 we can understand this thing more clearly by using a flowchart as we already know that flowchart is a pictorial representation of the execution of our statements now just see here we have the start button, start, we have taken initialize the value 1 of a count variable. Variable as we all know, already know, we have learned in our earlier videos in the syllabus that variable is a name given to a memory <clears throat> in which we can increase or decrease or change the values as per the need of our program. So here we are taking the value of count initially 1. We have printed 1 print count we got 1 then we will we are checking the value of the count is less than equals to 10 or not see here it is a diamond box if it is yes if the condition is true then what we will do then if count is less than equal to 10 if it is yes then we will execute the statements because the value of the count is less than 10 it will again print the value of count 2 if it is also less uh, less than 10 value then we will print again the value of uh, value of count 
थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन जस्ट यू कैन सी वी आर फॉर्मिंग अ लूप हियर वी आर प्रिंटिंग द वैल्यूज अगेन एंड अगेन सो एज सुन एज द वैल्यू ऑफ काउंट बिकम्स मोर देन टेन इट विल गेट स्टॉप ओके आई थिंक यू हैव गॉट द पॉइंट ऑफ द लूप नाउ मूव अ हेड विद द स्पेसिफिक फॉर लूप in python for loop is a very very important topic so let us now discuss this for loop is a type of looping statement or construct which is used to execute some commands again and again as the property of a loop up to a specific number of times yes it is to be mentioned always that how many times the loop to be executed its syntax in python is given below now just look at the syntax we are writing here for for is a keyword now the loop variable like we have uh, taken the count variable in range in is a keyword range as we have discussed in our earlier syllabus that range function will return a sequence starting from the lower limit and one minus than the upper limit now this is the body of the for loop in which we have statements from 1 to 1 which are to be executed again and again now let us discuss the execution of this for loop in detail okay here for is a keyword and used for for loop means we are writing we are going to write or execute for loop in python now here loop variable is the name of the variable which is used to run the loop and whose value will increase automatically by 1 okay in is a reserved keyword used to check the value of looping variable in the sequence of the values generated by range function here range function is discussed above in the previous article as we have know that it will generate the sequence statement minus 1 2 n are the statements which are to be executed again and again now we will have a look at some practical example in python now suppose we have to make the program to print the natural numbers up to 10 using for loop as we have discussed earlier above now what we are writing we are first of all giving the message user that we are going to print the natural numbers up to 10 or we are using here c for keyword for loop we are going to start the for loop so it is a keyword keyword means which automatically comes in orange color that automatic that is called a keyword now for is a loop we are going to start count is the looping variable which is to be initialized and which is to be increased every time so that we have to check that how many times we have already executed the loop in is also a keyword which will look at some particular number in a range of values which is given by the range function as you can see here range 1 comma 11 so range 1 comma 11 will give as you know the sequence from starting from the lower limit 1 up to 1 less than the upper limit 11 means 10 from 1 to 10 and we will print the value count so if you can see the output here natural numbers up to 10 are starting from initialize count and range 1 means we have the initial value 1 and up to the 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so in this manner we can execute and use for loop to do many many uh, various complex tasks easily so look at this here we have taken count as the looping variable as you can see in the above example assign it a value 10 as lower limit in the range function also we have discussed the uh, we have assigned the value upper limit as 11 which is one more which is one more than the 10 up to which we have to print the natural numbers okay let us move ahead here we have some practice problems on for loop okay let us discuss about this what we have in this question number 1 write a program in python to display the following series in separate lines using for loop now you can see here we have to print the numbers 4 5 6 7 up to 12 okay in different lines so we are using simply using a for loop for i i here is a looping variable in range is the part of the syntax we are using the lower limit here 4 and upper limit 13 because we have to print the values by 12 okay so simply 4 comma 13 here colon is the part of the syntax then we will enter press the enter key here and write the statements we have to just print the statements from i okay look at question number 
what we have to do in this to display the following series in separate lines using for loop now here we have to also print the series the series is 1 4 7 10 13 as you can see here we have a common difference of 3 as we have the arithmetic progression in maths we have a common difference of 3 means the step value 3 so we are writing here the for loop for i in range 1 comma 20 comma 3 so 1 we will what uh, what sequence we will get we will get 1 comma uh, 4 comma 7 comma 10 every time we will increase the value of i is looping variable by step value 3 so we will get this uh, output now look at question number 3 in this we have to accept any two numbers from the user and display the numbers that exist between them excluding them we have to exclude these number and print the numbers that exist between them suppose we are taking here two numbers a equals to 5 and b equals to 11 then we have to print the numbers between them then the output should be 6 7 8 9 10 okay first of all we will accept <clears throat> as you can see here on the screen we will accept two numbers uh, a and b from the user at the runtime of this program now here <clears throat> what we are using here for i in range a plus 1 comma b because we have to exclude a so that is why we are writing here a plus 1 comma b as we know we have uh, we will print one less than than the upper limit so automatically it will print one value less than b so if uh, the value of b entered by the user is 11 automatically we will get the last value 10 so that is how we can understand this one now we have some more examples which you can see understand practice so practice is very very essential in case of for loop as you will do more practice you will enjoy to use for loop i hope you got uh, this topic understand this topic very well thank you for watching this video